Muay Thai is often celebrated for its clinching techniques that allow you to control, off balance and even strike the opponent. Now, that's all well and good for a Muay Thai fight with rules. But does it actually work in the streets? Before we get into the meat and potatoes, we must first understand the rule set in which a clinch operates in. Now, Muay Thai rules can be confusing, so I'll keep it simple. Basically, one fighter has to be active within the clinch, otherwise the ref will break it up. You cannot lift and throw your opponent from behind, so no suplexes. And you can't do any hip throws. Sorry, judo guys. So, what does this mean for street fighting? As most of the takedowns are sweeps and trips, you're going to get really good at sweeping and chipping people. Duh. In terms of takedown defense, learning to sprawl is completely absent as lower body takedowns are illegal. Apparently, a knee to the face is all the takedown defense a Muay Thai fighter needs. Ow. Catching kicks are a huge part of Muay Thai, which inevitably improves your balance and your ability to stay on your feet. Now, the combination of clinching and striking is obviously great for street fighting. The awareness of hand positioning and where you're vulnerable to a strike is a huge dub. But perhaps the best aspect of the rule set, in my opinion, is the 3 second inactivity rule. This instills a need for an instant reaction, both gaining control and striking when the clinch is initiated. A vital trait, as in a street scenario, you must strike first, strike hard, no mercy. But seriously, this mindset is genuinely important when you or your loved one's life is on the line. So let's look at when the clinch actually works. One of the best UFC fighters to use the clinch in my opinion is Charles Oliveira. He's just so fluid and dynamic with the controlling of the upper body and the striking. He's creating openings for devastating knees to the body. Boom! He just absolutely dominates Dustin at this range and just wears him down. Doesn't that face just say it all? As I said before, the Muay Thai rulebook does not allow lower body takedowns. This probably has the biggest effect on the Thai clinch when talking about a street defense or MMA scenario. However, there are adjustments you can make to the Thai clinch to combat this. There's an excellent video by Fight Tips on how to adjust the Muay Thai clinch for MMA. The link is in below, give it a watch. After hours of scrolling through the internet, I came across this beautiful piece of content. What happens when a guy who likes to wear short shorts fights a guy who wears pajamas? The answer may not shock you. It's just a lot of this basically. My friend Neil bent over, this happened. Without tweaking the Muay Thai clinch, you're gonna get ragdolled. Look at the difference when the Muay Thai guy uses one simple underhook. It's like magic. Let's see if we continue to make those adjustments. Nope! 